Okay, in this video we're going to create a clear story roof uh, like the one shown here. Okay, so we'll go back to the uh, second floor. Activate the roof tool. Um, and then we're going to want the slope to be on this side. So I'm going to click this wall with the slope defined. I'm going to turn the defined slope off and pick these two walls. Uh, and then the, the other side of the roof here, I'm going to create just by drawing a line. Now I want, um, I want this to be right in the center of the shed. So I'm going to pick midpoint to midpoint here. Uh, then I'm going to use the uh, trim extend the corner tool to just trim off the roof here. Now I want this roof pitch to be 512. So if I click that line and change that to 5, I have uh, my 512 pitch and I'll finish that section of roof. Let's take a look at it in 3D, see what we have. Okay, now it looks like my roof's floating there, so let's figure out what happened there. Oh, there's an offset left over of, uh, from another roof that I created, so I'm going to hit apply, drop that right down onto uh, the shed there. We'll go back to the second floor, and now we have to create our second uh, roof section. So, activate roof. Uh, this time we want uh, the back of the, the shed to have the slope. So define slope there. Turn it off for these two sides of the roof. And then what we want to do is, is uh, draw the other side of the roof. Uh, this time I'm going to put a one foot offset on it to get that uh, roof overhang here. Then I use my corner tool again, trim off the two corners. Okay. For this side of the roof I want to use a uh, little bit steeper pitch. So I'm going to go with a 12-12 pitch. Okay, finish that side of the roof, take a look at that in 3D. Okay, and I find that my, my roof again has that offset on it, so let's put that back to zero and uh, drop it down there. Next thing I want to do is attach the wall to the two sections of roof, so I'll click this wall, attach top base, click that one, attach top base again, click that one. Same thing on the other end, so click the wall, attach top base, click the roof, attach top base, click the other roof, and we have our two walls. Okay, so now what we need to do is close up this section with a piece of wall. What I've done there is uh, I went down to an elevation, and I created this new uh, level here, uh, Claire Story uh, 11 feet seven inches um, which brought me right to the bottom here uh, to create that level you simply just click the level option which is on the architecture tab and uh, create the level All right so I don't want that level though let's get rid of that and I'm gonna go back on my floor plans now and there's that clear story level that I created and I'm gonna create a wall and I'm going to make sure that I'm on finish face exterior and I'm going to go right along the front piece of roof here. Okay, take a look at that in 3D. There's my wall. Cancel out of there and then I need to attach top base to cut that wall off to the roof. And I have my clear story wall. Okay, now we need to put a couple of windows in there. So I'm going to go to my Clear Story level. Um, I'm going to click Window, and I've uh, modified one of the fixed windows to be 24 by 48. I'm going to set the sill height for one. Uh, the default is three, uh, and I'm going to place three windows along the the Clear Story wall there. And I would probably go back and dimension them to get them exactly where I want them. 
uh, but you get the idea. Um, now when you do a, a clear story wall like this, you end up with a, a little piece of, of this wall showing. Um, not sure how to fix that. Uh, so what you can do is um, just paint it. So if you go to the Modify tab, there's a paint tool right here. Click that. Here's my clapboard siding. I can just click on it and paint those little um, end pieces there uh, to make it look a little bit better.